How much more comfortable are you now? Uh, I was just uh, like getting used to it a little more about last year, but now since I'm more experienced with it, I'm starting to get a lot more better with the technique. I understand where I need to like put where I need to put my head head at for like blocks and stuff like that. How much better has your blocking gotten since uh, you know Coach Skang has gotten around? He was talking about the receivers a second ago. You know, it's a core cool part of your responsibilities. Uh, but just how much have you grown in this camp and, and in the winter? Oh, this helped me a lot. Just uh, watching film, seeing what we're doing, and, like understanding the offense a little more, and just understand what I have to do to help the offense be great. So it's been great to have Coach Kane and have let me know like what I need to do to be successful and the team to be successful as well. Uh, Kentucky's in the top 25 preseason for the first time since 1978. Has there been any excitement or talk about that, or is it just kind of noise? Uh, we heard about it, and like we still want to be, you know, at that number one spot. So it's nice to have like that starting point at number 20, but we're trying to get to the top. We were talking to Coach Gang a minute ago. He said he's more excited about your all's group than, than any other, probably on the whole team. How's it make you guys feel? Oh, it's great just knowing because we have great skill sets, like with the receiving and blocking. So it comes hand in hand. So like he can pick what type of set he wants. Like if he wants a, like a heavy run, he can give two of the best blockers. And if he needs like a pass game, he can get some of the best receiving people for the tight end. So it's great to have like that different skill set. And some is like good at both. So it really helps a lot. I know fans were excited when they heard about him coming here and what he's done with, with his background, you guys too, but has this kind of been is it the proof in the pudding in, in camp about how much he likes? Oh yeah. oh, yeah, he loves tight ends. He gets like a whole little tight end set, like a bunch of tight ends on the field, so like there'll be like three tight ends out there. Yeah, even talking about possibly 14, so like four tight ends on the field at one time, so it's it's wild, but he's really he really loves his tight ends. How much does Coach Merrill love that? Oh, he loves He talks about it all the time in the, you know, the field room and everything. He's like, hey, he loves the tight ends. He talks about it all the time in like the offensive room. So it's really nice to hear that. I heard he bet you guys that you wouldn't make six catches mm -hmm. the other day and you guys did that on the first two drives. Is there yeah, we actually got like 11 catches. So like, now he owes us Jeff Ruby. So <laughs> we'll, we'll just get on the date on that. So we'll just leave him that. Was that Vince? Yeah. Does it, when you have that many guys out there, does it keep you on like, all right, I can't miss this block. I can't sit out this play because you know that there's another guy? I feel like it doesn't do that. It just like makes us like no uh, counter rep. Like don't make like any rep like discredited or anything like that. So just do every rep you can at your best ability and keep moving because your tight ends go make you better every day. Did you know enough about like the 49ers when you heard you were hiring the 49ers offensive coordinator? Did you think, oh, that's going to be good for us? Uh, I could see it like already like watching in the NFL games like that, like George Kittle and like the other uh, like fullbacks and stuff like that. You can see like they're they lovely <laughs> tight ends because Kittle's one of the best tight ends in the NFL. So just seeing stuff like that, you could get that kind of feel about it. I think was there any thought? Like, I got this question from fans. There's so many tight ends about you moving back to wide receiver at all this year, or do you feel like you finally found your home? No, I feel like I, I really love my position at tight end, just like the mismatches it brings. I, I love going against the tight end, not like the tight ends, uh, linebackers and safeties like that. And I just love the little mismatches they can bring. Like I could still be out in the wide out position, but I, I'm still a tight end. So just that different type of formations they can put me in. So it just helps. How did that success last year really kind of boost your confidence going into a bigger role? I just feel like the more experience it helped me, like being on the field, going against SC ball and just Having that feel of like going against like the top level opponents like that helps me a lot to gain that confidence to keep playing tight end. Who's the, the toughest backer or, or safety that you kind of go up against on a daily basis? Uh, probably, well, right now, Jacquez is being one of the best backs right now uh, in, you know, fall. And DeAndre Square, he's always going to be good. He knows the defense in and out and like he can read some of the offenses. So, like, that's what gives him the best positions like to make plays on. So he's basically like the quarterback on the defensive side. Both those guys have worked really hard on their, their coverage mm -hmm. since they got here. Do you feel like you play a big part in that? And because you stress that position pretty good. Oh yeah, I'll be having them run. I'll be having them running. So it helps them a lot to like have that type of speed for like even just a tight end side to get used to it and be able to be like prepared if they have like a tight end on the other side, like that type of speed. Isaiah, what did, what did the addition of Josh to your room add in terms of energy? We've heard about him as an energy guy. Maybe people didn't expect him to play much this year, but what were your kind of first impressions? Uh, like you said, he brings out the energy. He's, he's a fun guy. He's funny. Um, we love him out there. He just he plays hard. Uh, every rep he's going to make it count. 
and I just love seeing him work. So he's going to keep getting better, and I'm really excited to see what he can do. Vince said when they recruited him, they knew he would do some of that stuff, but they weren't sure about him catching. Has mm -hmm. he impressed you with that to this point? Yeah, he's able to find his way open and stuff like that in the empty zones like stuff and like find the holes in the zones, stuff like that. But he's really been impressive out there. How do you try to just separate yourself when there's seemingly 17 tight ends in your room right now? Uh, you just got to be the best. Uh, do your best at what your ability is. So, like me being, having the speed. So, I just got to keep being the fastest one out there and just show I can get open in, like, open areas and stuff like that and be great at catching the ball and also be able to block as well. Is it more fun when you have – that many guys and you're all rolling out 22 personnel and, and a bunch of tight ends at one time oh yeah it's definitely uh, a blessing to have that like just have people like to be able to just roll in and out and stuff like that and just help it helped us because we can get like a little break we need like some water or something like that just you know have another tight end that we can like depend on to just go out there and be able to do the same thing so it really is nice to have that many tight ends to be able to play if you anybody knows is like fades hmm you got anybody knows is like fades out there uh <laughs> No, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs>